So in this video, we're going to talk about passwords. Uh, um, I want to talk about two different things. One is the password file, and then later I'm going to talk about password complexity. Uh, but first I want to talk about the password file, some th interesting or some things that you need to know for the password file. The first thing you need to know is that there is an init.org parameter that kind of governs this. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's a, a, a init.org parameter called remote login password file. The value can be set to exclusive, shared, or none. Uh, um, 99 times out of 100, it's set to exclusive, which means that one password file per database. Um, you can also set it to shared, which means that the same password file can be shared among more than one database, but that's sort of unusual. And then you can also set it to none, which means that authentication is actually done at the uh, OS level, but um, on an OCM exam, you just need to make sure you check this out to make sure it's set to, I would imagine, exclusive. So what I'm going to do here, oh, let's also, let's take a look at who is in the password file right now. So I'm going to do select star, select star, dollar p w file users, and right now we only have the sys user. <coughs> But I'm going to create another one, so let's go ahead and do that. Create user Isaleo. 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 Identify Isaleo. And I'm going to go ahead and grant this DBA or sys DBA, sys DBA to Isaleo. Now let's go ahead and select. Now, and let's let's uh, um, let's test me out. Actually, SQL plus um, Saleo, Saleo as SysDBA. Okay, and then also okay, let's go ahead and change the password just for fun. Alter. We're going to show you once you do this, it will sync up with the uh, password file. So, alter user Saleo identified by OCM test. And let's exit out SQL plus Saleo OCM test as SysDBA. And sure enough, it works. So, um, also, I just want to make sure you see what the naming convention is for the password file. Let's go there. First of all, it's found in Oracle Home slash DBS. Oracle Home slash DBS. And the password files Aura, PW, and the Sydney. Okay, so the next thing, there are some um, other um, options with respect to the Aura password file, so let's just look at that. Aura. So, so here is the syntax. Um, we can say what the file name is, um, how many entries we want to add. We can force it and ignore case. I would imagine that these are the um, important, uh, some important parameters. Uh, so let's go ahead and change it to um, ignore case. So I want to say. PW file is equal to Aura PW OCM. Um, force equals yes because the file is already there and we want to go ignore case equals yes. Okay, so now um, if you recall my my login for SLA was OCM test. I want to say SQL plus uh, Saleo slash OCM test and SysDBA and see that it works. And that's it for this portion of the video. What I want to talk about next is the is password complexity.
So in the second part of this video, I want to talk about password complexity. Um, so there's a few things to make sure you remember. Um, the first thing is that the database is by default set up for case sensitivity, so I just wanted to show you that parameter associated with that. So, um, so by default we have the case sensitive logons, but you can change this if we need to. I'm not sure we're going to need to do that in um, the uh, on the OCM test, but um, we don't know that. So um, most of our users by default are set up to the default pa uh, profile. So let's um, let, let's actually take a look at the profile for a second. And so uh, um, right now we have no uh, password verification or password complexity um, uh, routine, um, but Oracle gives us one that we can actually use. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, let's do this. We have a password file that they give us, um, and we can alter this to our satisfaction. It does stuff with password length and um, whether something has to have at least a digit or a character, that kind of thing, and uh, um, and it it alters the profile to for certain things. The, the default profile to password life or grace time or reuse time and what have you. And uh, um, so if we set this on, let's just show you what happens when we set it on. So um, actually, I think we had shown earlier, uh, let's, go on. let's go back to, oh, right. So what we had shown earlier is that um, very little is set up here in terms of password. Um, Profiles, but we're going to change that in just a second. Okay, now let's do this again. Um, select profile. Profiles where profile is equal to default. And now, okay, let's do this. So let's set on size to 50. All right, so now, now we have some changes here, including the verify function is now being used. And uh, um, so what I imagine is that um, either they're just going to say um, apply the um, verify function or make some changes to it so you just have to be aware of what they're asking for whether they need changes at this level in terms of the resource limits or in case of the complexity itself um, we might need to create a profile I already have a user called Saleo so let's go ahead and create a profile called Saleo so, and this is easy to do you say create profile Saleo so if I say limit with nothing, it's going to generate a, a series of resources for me that are sort of the default. So now let's do that. Select, select profile, resource name, resource name, limit of EBA profiles, where profile name equals Leo. I'm sorry.
can't see so now I've created a profile let's go ahead and assign that profile to um, Saleo Let's look at um, let's look at the default profile again. So select um, profile resource name resource name limit TPA profiles where profile is equal to default. And because we ran the password management function, we have a verify function here, but we can get rid of it. We can say alter. So we might have to create some profiles, change some things around in terms of resource limits, may add a pa password verify function with some complexity that might be different from the default that's given in the um, example um, password verify function that they provided for us. And uh, I think that's it for this video. Thank you.